do these things always happen to me? If this is your way of thinking, it will hold you back. You need to learn to, you know, muster enough strength that can help you get through difficult times. And you need to replace every bad habit to a healthy habit and every bad confession or negative confession with positive confession. So stop that pity party and stop saying, why do these things happen to me? Why do I always have to get through? Why do I have to always have to be the one that is losing on that contract? No, no, no. You need to stop that pity party and begin to develop mental strength. Get, you know, develop, you know, the habit of speaking positive words and going after that which you desire by putting your faith and action to everything that you set your hands to do. tuning in if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber it's always a delight to have you back to this channel my name is Uluma I came about faith my faith journey business marriage and lifestyle from Kotakot Nigeria so if this is what you are interested in then you definitely want to stay connected to this channel and keep watching now before we jump right into today's video I would love to say a big thank you to my wonderful subscribers on this channel thank you beloved people for always staying connected to this channel Thank you for supporting this community. Thank you for subscribing, for sharing this video with your loved ones and friends. Please never forget that I appreciate you guys so much and I do not take your support on this channel for granted. And to my returning subscribers, you guys are the most valuable persons on the channel. You know that you are. And if you are watching this video and you haven't subscribed to this channel, you're like, why? Why are you doing this? Please leave. Subscribe to this channel. Let's grow this community. Be a team for woman. There are also content coming up on this channel as always. Now, without much ado, let's jump right into the video for today. Today, I will share with us about how we can become mentally strong, especially when we go through difficult times. Being mentally strong means that you need to muster enough strength to help you get through difficult situations. And besides mustering, you know, strength to get through difficult situations, you need to learn to speak positive words. You need to learn to declare what God's word has said concerning you. So if you have to develop mental strength and to become mentally strong to get through some difficult time, you need to learn to confirm the word of God and declare it consistently. And like I always say on this channel, you can only declare God's word consistently if you have it on the inside of you. So you need to study your word Study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, but rightfully divided the word of truth. Beloved, the world is filled with so much chaos. So if you have to become mentally strong in the world we are in today, you need to learn to build your mind to speak positively. Regardless of how things may look, learn to speak positively. And you can start by telling yourself each day, declaring what God's word has said concerning you. If you have been consistent on this channel, you will you will know that I am an advocate for a faith confession. I am an advocate for declaring only what God's word says about you. So stop saying, why are all these things happening to me? Or why am I going through a particular season or phase of my life at this time? Rather, be positive about it. Please, never you accept defeat. Always learn to speak and tell yourself that there is no fear here. Fear is only a false evidence that is appearing real. What is God saying? Replace every fear you feel right now with, with faith. Declare what God's words has said about you. And beloved, you need to be consistent. So becoming mentally strong, you need to be consistent with speaking God's word. You need to be consistent with declaring that everything that God has said concerning you will come to pass regardless of the phase that you find yourself in. Yes, that brings me to telling yourself about self-talk. I have talked about self-talk a lot on this channel. Give yourself some self-talk and that also means, you know, encouraging yourself and also telling yourself that you are bigger and you are greater than every phase that you are in at this moment. You know, stop that pity party of, you know, complaining and be grateful. Beloved, the enemy's goal is to make you feel down and helpless. But developing mental strength helps you, you know, speak positively. That way you can... You know, build yourself to confess the word of God consistently. That counters every plan of the enemy if you are consistent in studying God's word and knowing what God has said about you concerning 
happen at every point in time. So you will not allow the enemy to get you down for too long, like I always say on this channel. Please be positive. Speak positive for words to yourself. Give yourself some self-talk, like I've always like I've said earlier. You know, some persons may feel that self-talk is crazy. What what am I giving myself self-talk? What am I standing in the mirror or waking up every morning to speak some positive um, affirmations to myself? It is important. It's not a crazy thing. So beloved, in as much as everyone would love to develop mental strength, it is also difficult, you know, to be mentally resilient when life gets so tough. But like I always do on this channel, I want to encourage you keep that faith confession and keep declaring what God's words has said concerning you, regardless of the season that you find yourself in. So we have come to the end of today's video. I hope you got one or two from this video and you have really been inspired. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share this video with your loved one, share this video with your friend, and reach out to somebody out there who needs to be mentally strong at this time. So like, come your way my next video, guys. Please stay safe and stay blessed. Ciao.